Yeah, and, and I do want to focus on today. I know a lot of you are probably going to be out and about. Uh, just have a way to get warnings. This is not something that's going to be widespread, but those storms that do develop, I mean, we saw it on Saturday night. It was not a widespread threat. It was one thunderstorm that ended up producing, you know, a couple of tornadoes. And today it could just be one or two storms that produce large hail. The main concern today is going to be the potential for quarter size hail or larger up to golf ball size. 60 mile power wind gusts also possible and the slight risk now including DFW and a big portion of North Texas. That's a level two out of five. It looks like a lot of this activity starts mid to late afternoon and it again started off very isolated. It looks like somewhere north of Interstate 20 around four. After that, these storms will generally progress towards the southeast and, and along the outflows of these storms, we could very well see another thunderstorm popping up. It kind of depends on the timing of these. So between six and about eight, we could very well see that. See how this model shows a bit more activity kind of popping up uh, somewhere around the Metroplex. After that, this activity really going to wind down once the sun sets. That's what's going to drive a lot of this. Uh, but once the sun sets, we're going to see that coverage really lower. And then another risk tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a marginal risk for severe weather. That's a level one, but to the southwest we have a level two or a slight risk. Quarter size hill or larger 60 mile per hour wind gusts not rolling out the potential uh, isolated tornado with this one. And again, this is on Tuesday and it comes in a couple of rounds very early Tuesday around sunrise, we could very well see some thunderstorms along the Red River that make it into our northern counties. So that's our first round of Tuesday, and this won't last all day. In fact, by about noon on Tuesday, we start to see a lot of this activity wind down. So again, tomorrow morning, you could be waking up to a few thunderstorms in the area. Just something just to plan ahead with and then another round looking likely, but this time it starts to our west. So this is Tuesday around five in the afternoon. You see radar looking dry, but as we head into the evening and overnight hours, this is stopping the clock at 10. We have a line of showers and thunderstorms along our eastern counties and those storms will likely make it into the I-35 corridor counties, including the Metroplex sometime around midnight, lasting to about three in the morning and then our eastern counties between three and about six in the morning. After that, we get another brief break. But the rain chances don't stop there. Look at Wednesday's coverage 50%, 40% Thursday, 60% Friday, daily rain chances. And it's not just an isolated uh, threat after today. We're looking at the potential for scattered showers and thunderstorms pretty much every day through the weekend. And because of that, we do have accumulations looking likely anywhere between two to four inches of rain for the Metroplex, uh, slightly lower amounts areas to the southwest. So that'll be something that we're thinking about then a flood concern here as we head towards the middle and end of the week. Right now, Fair Park, 90 degrees, the heat index 103. It's the other thing about today, not just the storms. Everyone will be dealing with this heat. You can see a little bit of a haze there as we look towards downtown Dallas. Right now, 88, but it feels like 101 at DFW Airport with a southeast wind at about 5, 10 miles per hour. The high temperature today, Fort Worth, 96 degrees, 95 for Denton, McKinney, and in Dallas. We could see some triple digits along our far western counties, and this is because air will be slightly drier in that direction. A heat advisory is in place for our southeastern counties, including Hill, Navarro, Henderson, towards the southeast for heat index values of about 105. And on top of that, areas in the Metroplex and surrounding dealing with a lowered air quality this afternoon. So an air quality alert is in place. Uh, so if you have any respiratory issues, that's something to consider if you're spending some time outdoors. So temperatures will then be in the mid 80s as we head towards the middle of the week, all thanks to the added rain and cloud cover. I just needed to keep checking back in every day because uh, It'll look pretty different every day.